Data without insights are meaningless. That's why we need the right framework to ensure that the data acquires meaning. Then we can act on those insights to create data-driven decision making in the organization. The whole organization needs to work hand in hand in creating this change, especially HR. The role of HR are evolving from doing administration tasks to a more strategic one, such as thinking and planning the resources more strategically. In this video, we focus on the data-driven analytics for the employee, or people analytics. It helps the organization to answer various organizational problems and predict the future of the organization in managing people by utilizing the right data to make the decision more effective and impactful. Like data analytics, people analytics starts with defining the objectives and we need to check whether the data is available to support the analytics. Then, we analyze the data, provide some recommendations and some action plans to help with the data-driven decisions. An action plan covers what the HR need to do step by step to ensure the people analytic process runs smoothly. So, what holds HR back from using analytics? There are several problems that can cause this. In this video, we will cover three common problems in doing people analytics. The first one, make sure that you have the objectives. For example, to improve employee productivity or to improve employee engagement level. Addressing the objective is the most important thing you need before doing analytics process. Now you might have several objectives in your mind and that is great. The second one, the potential issue you might encounter is that you don't have enough data or any data to run the analysis. In this case, after deciding on the objective, it is important to map the required and available data for analytical process. Last but not least, some HR do actually have the data, but they don't know how to analyze the data. Very unfortunate, isn't it? That's why in this video, we will give you an explanation of how people analytics can be used in the HR area so you can prevent the potential issues from happening. People analytics can be used to support talent management in the organization and conduct analysis when we have urgent changes. For example, when the organization structure is swiftly changed and job competencies need to be adjusted accordingly. Placement of employees in the organization structure can be done through analysis of several data such as assessment results, performance achievement, previous experience, and workload analysis to decide the number of people in the organization. And the process doesn't end there. With those results, analytic process can actually recommend the suitable learning materials to fill in the competency gaps by developing the needed skill. Employees can develop their skill better when they know what results are expected and in which area they need to improve. This is why people analytics help to monitor the competency gaps and support employees' performance. In conclusion, with the fast-changing environment, the organization needs to fasten its pace to be sustainable and competitive in the market. When we talk about people analytics, people often think about big data, complex statistical tools, or even artificial intelligence. Actually, we can even use spreadsheets to begin with. Then later, we can use more sophisticated tools after we have mastered them. Therefore, there is no need to limit ourselves in doing the analysis process. People analytics can simplify the process and create integration between HR and employees, which will lead to a more agile organization with strong performance.